Hedge funds rethink tactics after $12 billion hit from the meme stock army. Short sellers selling on guard over risk that day traders spree could trigger extinction level events. Hedge funds that bet on falling share prices are stepping up their efforts to spot the next GameStop after this year's meme stock mania. Let the industry nursing billions of dollars in losses in just six months. Not to even account for all the unrealized losses, of course. Huge gains in the price of companies favored by day traders who assembled on message boards such as Reddit caught out some short sellers badly in late January. In recent weeks, these stocks have staged a second rally. With a rise in stocks including the cinema chain, of course, AMC, hedge funds losses since the start of the year from betting against GameStop, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, total $12 billion. According to Data Group S3, while bets against a number of others have each run up additional losses in the hundreds of millions of dollars, more than half of short sellers' $5.1 billion of losses betting against AMC this year have come in June. So that indicates that they're still losing money on AMC, and again, lots and lots more unrealized. The heavy toll shows how many moves by individual investors which are regularly coordinated on forms such as Wall Street bets have tightened the risk of professional investors in the Wall Street equity markets. In two waves, a few hedge funds see modestly sized short positions turn into extinction level events. Managing member at investment firm. Funds that suffer multiple rounds of losses on short bets will face difficult questions from investors as to whether their risk management failed to adapt to the change in the market environments. The highest profile hedge fund casualty has been Melvin Capital, which lost 53% in January and is still down big 44.7% this year to May. Light Street Capital, the fund led by Tiger Cub alum Glenn Catcher, was also hit early this year and again in May. With losses in the first quarter predominantly driven by the short bets on London-based White Square Capital, which lost money shorting GameStop, is also shutting down its main fund. You don't want your book to be exposed to the whims of Wall Street bets, said Quiver founder James K. Data Group Centif, which buys data from the likes of Reddit and Twitter and uses it to score sediment around stocks, said it detected a nearly 1,200% rise in chatter around AMC May 20th to June 1st. The cinema chain shares have already started to rise by then, but then doubled on June 2nd. They said the number of customers using the platform had doubled in the past year. Swiss investment firm has also started to look into how they can deploy machine learning and data techniques, which it's already used to spot changes in sediment. So what's happening guys, the hedge funds are starting to find different ways or trying to find different ways to try to figure out what the overall retail investing community wants to do next. Although, as they already learned the hard way, betting against the retail investors can be very, very costly. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.